out here at practice, Meadowdale High School, with the head coach, Mike Don. Mike, second year head coach here at Meadowdale. Getting the season rolling right now, what's the difference for you as a, a veteran coach now as opposed to coming in last year and not knowing your personnel? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is the kids have an understanding of the, the changes and expectations and what we do differently. Um, everybody's got their own way to skin a cat and you've always got those adjustments no matter where you are. I mean, even right now at UW, you go from Sarko who's successful to Peterson, he's got his own way of doing things and just kind of getting kids used to how we do things and what was expected of them in this way. How, what's, uh, what's the off season been like for you guys in terms of what's the regiment? Have you a lot of weight room training, a lot of the kids running around here by themselves? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of weight room, speed and agility stuff. We're here uh, three, four days a week, two hours a day. Um, all summer, uh, getting kids through speed and agility, strength and conditioning program, uh, really trying to make a balanced group of kids who can run, jump, lift, and do move heavy objects and kind of be ready to play. Uh, we did some seven on seven tournaments over the summer, um, had our you know, days that we could practice with the kids too, went to camp and it was a good summer. Yeah, and uh, a little bit of realignment this year, Edmonds Woodway and Linwood coming down to the 3A level to join Meadowdale and Mount Lake Terrace, so all four schools in the school district are now together. And obviously the one game that jumps out on the schedule, if you are a Meadowdale fan or an Edmonds Woodway fan, it's the Jam the Stands game. It's, uh, that's kind of the, uh, the, for the pride of Edmonds, so to speak, and that's the game that a lot of the, the folks in this community are focused on. What's it going to be like knowing that that game actually counts in the standings now? You know, I don't think it changes much. Uh, I think it's still, um, I mean, the kids... They're, they're more into it than anybody else. It's just their big thing. and I mean, that's just down the road. It's five minutes away from here. And I think it's uh, just another game where we get to go out and play some kids who are close to home and go out and compete against a well-coached, solid football team. They're always going to be good. A football team that you lost to in double overtime last year. So uh, maybe a little extra motivation, perhaps? Nah, just always got to go out and get it. You know, everybody, you're going to lose games, you're going to win games. I want to win them all. So that's no matter a, who we play, we're going to be all right. That's coach speak right there. They, <laughs> they always have the way of uh, looking at one game at a time, and each game means the same. But uh, that'll be a fun game anyway. And, oh, by the way, I should mention, that game will be carried by the Sound Live Sports Network. We will be broadcasting all of Mike's football games that are played at Edmonds Stadium, as well as all of the games for Edmonds Woodway. You can watch all of those live by going to myedmondsnewstv.com throughout the year and, uh, and checking things out. Hey, Mike, great luck to you this year. Thank you very much. Always enjoy talking with you, and uh, it should be a fun